Hey guys, I've got a lot of requests from people asking for a perfect, thick and spicy homemade Shazwan sauce. So here it is and we'll be preparing it a very simple way which will turn out better than the store-bought ones and that too without any kind of preservatives. So let's get started. So to prepare this hot and spicy Shazwan sauce at home, here I've taken two types of dried red chilies. I'll just show you. These are the regular red chilies, dried red chilies, which you easily get in the market. And here I have taken 50 grams of Betki red chilli. This will help in balancing the spiciness of the Shezwan sauce. You can also use Kashmiri red chilies, And if you want, you can use any other dried red chilies of your choice. So overall, I have taken 150 grams of dried red chilies, 100 grams of the regular ones and 50 grams of this Betki or Kashmiri. So one will help in giving the spiciness and the other one will help in giving the colour. So if you're using only this type of red chilli, the one which I'm using here, these are very easily available in the market. And if it is more spicy, what you can do is, you can just break these red chilli, some of the red chillies, and remove the seeds out of it. So this way it will help in balancing the spiciness. So this way you can use these dried red chillies only, half with seeds and half without seeds. So now we need to soak them in some water. So soak them in enough water so that they are soaked nicely. So just press it a bit with the help of your hands so that it remains soaked. So let it soak for about 2-3 to three hours or until they get soft. But if you are in a hurry just like me then you can simply soak this just for about 20-30 to 30 minutes and then boil it. And that's what I am going to do today. I am going to soak these just for about 30 minutes and then I am going to boil this. So I am going to boil this along with the same water for about 4 to 5 minutes or until they become slightly tender. So keep pressing with the help of a spoon or spatula so that they remain soaked and boiled nicely. So now you can see it has come to a good boil. All the chilies have boiled nicely and now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put the flame on low to medium and cover it with the lid and let it cook further and get boiled for about 5 to 7 minutes over low flame. After 5 minutes, I am going to remove the lid and check. You can see the chilies have become soft and they have soaked most of the water. You can see how it looks. And the another advantage of boiling the red chilies is that you will get nice soft and smooth puree while making Shezwan sauce. So now they have become nice soft and tender. Switch off the flame and cover it with the lid and let it rest for some more time or until it cools down to slightly room temperature. So now it has cooled enough, I'm going to transfer this into a blender. So if you want, you can blend it in two batches. And you can also see some reserved flavorful water which has come out of this chilies. I'm not going to throw this, I'm going to keep this aside and use later to adjust the consistency of the Shezwan sauce. So I've grinded the first batch, you can see how it looks. You can see it's nice, thick and smooth paste, you can see. So it depends on you, if you want a very smooth paste, you can make it more smooth and if you want to keep it slightly chunky and coarse, you can do it that way also. So this is the perfect smooth consistency which you get only when you boil your red chilies. So I suggest you guys to boil your red chilies after soaking for 20 to 30 minutes. So next up in a pan, I am going to heat up about 6 to 7 tablespoons of oil. Yes guys, this Shazwan sauce needs more oil as it needs to be preserved in the fridge for a longer time. So it takes little more oil. Just normally how you preserve your pickles for a longer period of time by putting some extra oil in it. So heat up the oil on high flame for about 1 minute and then I'm going to lower the flame and add garlic to it. So this is around half a cup of garlic which I finely chopped. You can see the consistency of this. Make sure you finely chop the garlic for that perfect taste and texture. Do not completely paste it. You can either chop it with the help of your hands or you can use food processor for this. So add the garlic to the oil and after that I am also going to add 4 to 5 tablespoons of ginger. That also I have finely chopped, you can see this way. Add that as well in the oil and cook these together for about 1 to 2 minutes or until the rawness goes away. So make sure to do this over medium flame until it turns slightly golden brown in colour but do not overcook the ginger and garlic. So fry this for just about 2 to 3 minutes or until the rawness goes away and becomes slightly golden brown. And after that I am going to add the prepared chilies puree and mix that as well along with the ginger and garlic. 
So let it cook for about 2 to 3 minutes over medium flame and at this point of time if you want to adjust the consistency you can add the leftover water. So here I am adding about 2 to 3 tablespoons of reserved water. So now let it come to a good boil. So now you can see it has come to a good boil. Now I am going to cover it with a lid and let it cook over low to medium flame for about 5 to 7 minutes until all the flavors are nicely cooked and they become gelled with each other. So this way all the rawness will go away of the chilies and the ginger garlic and it will also leave some oil from the sides. So it's been almost 7 minutes. Let's remove the lid and check. So now you can see the sauce is nicely reduced and it has also released some oil from the sides. That's the sign of its doneness. And it's got beautiful vibrant red color on it also. You can see the oil. So at this stage, we'll add in the salt. One teaspoon of soy sauce. One teaspoon of sugar. Don't worry guys, this will not make your sauce sweet but it will help in balancing the flavors. Next, I'm adding 3 tablespoons of vinegar. This will help in giving the tanginess as, and it will also help in preserving the sauce. Also, I'm adding 2 to 3 tablespoons of tomato sauce or ketchup. Now, mix all the things really well and let it cook for about 2 to 3 more minutes. And guys, if you want, you can also add some finely chopped celery at this point of time but I didn't add it so I'm not using it. So let it cook for about 2 to 3 more minutes and as we are making Chinese sauce today, if you want, you can also use the Chinese salt that is Ajinomoto at this point of time. But today I am not using any Ajinomoto in it. And if you want to use Ajinomoto, you can use 1 teaspoon of Ajinomoto and add at this point of time and mix. So that's it guys, your Shazwan sauce is almost ready. We are going to cook it further just for about 30 to 40 more seconds and it's almost done. You can switch off the flame and let it cool down completely and then store in any airtight container. You can see the color, consistency and the texture with vibrant color on it. That's the perfect looking thick and spicy Shazwan sauce. So guys, how did you like my Shazwan sauce recipe? And if you really enjoyed watching this video, do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and also share these videos with your friends and family. I'll see you soon in my another easy peasy recipe. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.